What's up, Hot Wheels collectors? This is Jasper49 coming to you once again with another video. Today I have a in the mail video. Um, probably the majority of my videos will be in the mail videos because that's how I get most of my Hot Wheels. Um, we'll do some haul videos too for to Walmart and maybe some other places if I'm able to get to one. But um, today is an in the mail video, so we're going to see what we pull out of the mail today. Let's start with this package on top. I've already removed the paper on the outside, so I don't bore you guys with opening that. So, get this out of here without messing it up. There we go. This would be the Fat Fendered 40. Very nice car. Um, this comes from the Hot Wheels Classic Series 3. This is number 13 of 30, die-cast body, die-cast chassis, special paint, um, really nice model. I collect the 50s, 60s, 70s models, but hey, this one is a very cool looking piece. It's like a sort of a dark slate blue. It doesn't really come across in the video. I'm not going to open this one, so um, you'll just have to imagine. But uh, nice little pickup, got it for a decent price. Here is the back, number 13 of 30, Series 3. If you guys want to read that, I'm sure you've seen this before. No big whoop here. 2006. Um, yeah, nice piece. Came in good condition. The card's in good condition. Let's see, anything on the bottom there? Nope, just metal base, Thailand. Though a lot of the stuff's made in Malaysia now, so um, very nice, uh, subtle sort of silver outline frames on the side. Red line, not uh, they're not real riders, but they're red line looking tires. Uh, overall, nice piece. Glad to have it in the collection. We'll definitely enjoy that. So let's put that up there. And let's check out the next one, shall we? This one... I opened a little bit too, and... This is from the... 100% series. 1957 Chevy Nomad. Now, I don't normally like to collect these big boxes. Um, some of you may like these. Um, I think it's too much packaging myself. I really don't think it's necessary to have all of this extra packaging on the bottom just for this little bitty car. Uh, this is enough packaging for me. Now they have released a few of these collector models where the packaging uh, conforms more to the piece. I'll show you those. Which I think makes more sense for these pieces. Here's a, a 40th Anniversary Collectors Edition GTO and Chevy Chevelle. That's for another video. But uh, this piece I got in the mail today is a 100% series, like I said. Multi-piece collector quality car. Includes display case, which is this little thing inside there. But, um, you know, I know everything's more valuable if it's sealed in the package. And this piece is sealed, as you can see um, here. And there, it is sealed. Um, does have every, you know, all the official stuff on the back. I'll let you guys look at that. Nineteen fifty-seven Chevy And so it was for the pegs. You can tell there it was for the pegs. But honestly, this case, the the box is not in great condition. So I'm actually tempted to open this guy. Um, some of you may think that's not the right thing to do, 
but this was not that expensive of a piece, and it's one of those things where you think, you know, the car is being held back by being in the package. So what do you think? Should I open it? I think I should open it. What do you guys think? Let's open a side. Let's open one side. Just see what's in there. Oh, and of course, this has to be glued as well. Alright, so here's what I'm talking about. This extra packaging is just not necessary. I don't really like this at all. But um, then you just end up with all this extra cardboard stuff that you just don't really need. So here it is. And look at all this. This just takes away from the car to me. You just don't need this set um, to make this car interesting. So let's see here if we can get this off. Sorry this is taking so long. I just wanted to open this for you so you could see it without all the junk cardboard. I mean look at all this cardboard. Alright, so here it is. Don't you think that's better? I do. In fact, let's take this off. Can we take this off? There we go. Now look at it. Now look at it. Now we've got a nice looking car to see. Protector case is not really that necessary for this car. Um, I don't think this is um, too limited of an addition, but um, I'll double check the package. But nice detail on the front. Beautiful tampos. I just love this car. I don't, like I said, I don't collect these 100% um, versions very much just because there's too much packaging. It takes up too much room. But as I've said before, I really, if I like the car and I like the um, design and the execution, I'm going to get it. I'm going to pick it up. There's really no rhyme or reason other than if I like what I see. And this is really nice. You know, another thing about the Chevy Nomad is the ones that are coming out now have that rippled top. This one has a smooth top, but look at this. I don't understand what this is. Does anybody know what that is for? That... I don't think it's true to the actual car, so I'm not sure why that rivet is in there. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But uh, very nice real rider tires. Let's see. Can we take this off? Oh, it's screwed in. Of course it's screwed in. Give me a second, I'll get this unscrewed so we can check it out. Man, that was hard to break loose. It was screwed in good but we did get it separated. And then the little screws down on the bottom here that were, they were in there, man. I guess they've been in there since 2000, like over 10 years ago. But uh, this dirty old base is out of the way now so we can actually enjoy the car. Look at this guy, very nice. Rolls very nicely on those real rider tires. Um, I love the silver Hot Wheels logo in the back here with the beautiful yellow, orange, and red flames with the blue trim. Very nice classic Hot Wheels design. Nice real rider tires. They're skinnier in the front. They're fatter in the back for that sort of drag effect of the car. Also the um, Chevy Nomads that have been coming out lately have that rid ridged top, sort of a humpy top. This one is nice and slick except for this right here. I'm not really sure what that is or what that's for. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, let's take a look at the back here in the uh, license plate. BDY lens. Not sure what that is. Nice tail lights. Oops, let's get them up there. Other side. Very beautiful. Nice chrome trim up around the windshield and windows. There's our headlights. We've seen those already very beautiful car. Let's look at the underbelly really quick. China Chevy Nomad 1999. I don't know guys, should have I opened this or not? But uh, really beautiful car. Now here's the payoff. This is what you've all been waiting for, right? Those of you who know this car. Those of you who don't are in for a little surprise. Looky here. Our body opens up here total moving part. Now how could you enjoy that unless you got it out of the package? 
Never. So I'm really glad we opened this. It was worth it. Check it out. And it opens the opposite way of what you would normally think. Most of the dragsters open, you know, this way. Uh, this one opens from the back and has some really nice detail on the inside. Check out this beautiful block engine right here which is all chromed out and part of the base and then you can see inside here the two seat, this is a two seater would love to go on a ride in that, look at the dashboard even got some detail on the dash there little roll cage, very nice, very nice so um, I'm glad I opened this piece, I don't think it would be worth that much to keep it in the uh, in the box just because it's in bad shape. I mean it had kinda messed up edges you can see there. Um, looked like it had been on the shelf for a while so I don't you know I don't think it makes that much difference. I'm enjoying it more out of the case anyway and that's the point right. So that is the 1957 Chevy Nomad from the 100% series around 1999-2000. Don't forget we also looked at the Fat Fender 40 which came from the Hot Wheels Classic series, um, but this one is definitely a sweet little car, and I'm looking forward to seeing that on my shelf every day. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to have you as a subscriber, but uh, for now, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.